This is the BD7 Valor Fitness Power Rack with lat pole and low row attachments. There's a lot happening here, so we'll kind of go through each station at a time. But before that, if you're concerned on the footprint this takes up, on the website, there's a measurement showing the width, the depth, and the height. Now keep in mind, it's the width of the frame, but you gotta add the width of the bar, uh, a seven foot limit bar, so take that into consideration when you're planning your space parameters for your location. So let's go through each section at a time, and we'll go over the BD7 Power Rack from Valor Fitness. On each side of the rack, you have two storage plates, plenty of room for extra plates. Yes, these are standard bars, but the Olympic plates will fit fine just sitting here as far as they have a two inch mouth versus the one inch bar. Both sides, <clears throat> as far as two on each side, plenty of storage space for all your weights. Okay, here we have the squat function of the uh, BD7. I've adjusted the, the peg holders, probably my height, I'm five foot 10, a little bit below the shoulders to get under and push it up. And don't forget to adjust the safety bar uh, as far as when you bring the squats down, you want this a little bit lower, probably one rung lower than your lowest position possible. So in case you have to get out of it, you keep going down, the safety bars will catch you, you drop to the ground and then come back out and uh, I guess practice more so you don't uh, have to go down here. But here's the, there's 225 on the rack right now. Step in, get a firm grip, bring it up and then do your squats in here and then bring it back and bring it down. So that's the squat function of the BD7. Safety bars for the squat function. Set the height you feel like is high enough or low enough as you come down. If you can't get the bar back up to the squat, drop them back down. The bar, the safety bars will catch your bar. This is solid steel, so they're not gonna bend or break and uh, jump on out and start over. So here's an example of the safety bars. Come up under the bar, bring it up. If I came down and could not get back up, Then you're out, you're safe, no harm, no foul. Let's move on to something else. Okay, here we have the bench press set up in an inclined position. We brought in our DD11 as far as an example for the bench accessory. You can still use the safety bars as a bar holder support on the outside of the frame and then adjust the smaller pegs for your safety support as far as the height that fits your, your body size and the weight you're doing. So again, this is the uh, inclined position. You can also do the flat bring these down, adjust the pins and pegs that fit your desired body height and also the weight you're using. And you can accessorize this with a DD4, DD11, and some other benches we have for Valor Fitness. And at the top of the unit, we have the pull-up station. It's a knurled steel bar, roughly 81 inches off the ground. Again, I'm five foot 10, nice wide grip, pull down, plenty of room for a pull-up. Okay, here we're set up for the lat pull. Now there's a a bar that came with a rack with a foam roller that goes halfway through it and people ask, what's that bar for? Well, if you ever do the lat pull and you're pulling down more weight than you weigh, most likely you're going to raise up just due to physics and laws of gravity that you're trying to pull down, let's say I weigh 210, if I'm pulling down 215, most likely I'll do a pull up. So what this does, the bar is positioned to wedge yourself under the bar and try and have the foam pad right across your, your lap area, the crotch area and your thighs to kind of pull, give you resistance. If you lift up, the bar will hold you down. So adjust the bar first, and as you drop down, kind of work your legs under it, and then do your lat pull. So I'm held in place right here by the bar on my thighs. As you pull down with more weight than your way, this will keep from going back up. That's the lat pull for the BD7. And last, we have the seated row, or you can do stand-up row or stand-up curls as far as traditional arm curls. But in this position, you got the chain link. You hook it up to the, uh, the pulley there. Got your weight selected. You can see that it holds Olympic plates no problem, even though those are standard bars. With the clip on the side, the plates aren't going to fall off. If you so choose to add an Olympic adapter, that's great, but the plates are fine the way they are. So you come back in here, seated row. And that's the BD7 Power Squat Rack from Valor Fitness.